Ayan. Nagre-record na ba lang? Ayun, recording. Sige, start natin, no? Yung continuation, GAM for LG. Uh, patayin ko lang yung camera, no? Para hindi nyo, hindi kayo ma-distract. Kasi dito ako nakatingin sa projector, eh. Ayan. So, ito yung syllabus mo, no? Si keyboard natin. Oops. Ayan. So, makikita mo dyan yung local government units. And tapos na nga tayo sa part 1. Dito na tayo sa part 2. Revenues and expenses. Zoom in pa natin, no? For today, ito ang pag-uusapan natin. Special Education Fund. Trust fund, income collections and deposits, method of accounting for income. Ito, accrual method lang naman yan. Accounting journal entries and the financial statements of an LGU. Sa so napansin ko sa accounting journal entries, uh, magiging masyadong technical na naman no, kapag dadaanan pa natin yan ng detail. So, hindi na natin masyadong pagpapokusan yung accounting journal entries. Pwedeng-pwede mo naman siyang balikan dito sa GAM for LGUs kung sakaling kailangan siya. Okay. Then ito, financial statements of an LG. Tara, simulan na natin. Yan. Unahin na natin yung income collections and deposits. Makikita muna tayo ha. Income collections and deposits. So, makikita mo yan dito sa uh, uh, item C ng chapter 2. Uh, what chapter 2 ha ba? Chapter... 3 pala, chapter. <clears throat> Item C. Yan, income, revenue, receipts, collections, and deposits. So ito, uh, parang kapareho lang din naman no, sa GAM4 uh, NGAs. No? Income refers to all revenues and receipts collected or received, forming the gross accretions of funds of the local government unit. Revenues. Revenue refer to income derived from the regular system of taxation. Okay, so kung uh, income from uh, taxation, revenue ang tawag dyan. Okay. Oh, enforced under authority of law or ordinance and as such accrue more or less regularly every year. Revenues. Receipts naman kapag realized from operations and activities of the local government okay. or are received by it in the exercise of its corporate functions consisting of charges for services rendered, conveniences furnished, or the price of a commodity sold as well as loans, contributions, or aids from other entities except provisional advances for budgetary purposes. Ayan, kitang-kita mo naman ang difference ng revenue and receipts. Okay. Income, yung total ng dalawa. Ito, separation of books and depository accounts. Ayan, local accountants and treasurers shall maintain separate books and depository accounts, respectively. So, sino nagme-maintain ng separate books? Si local accountants. Sino naman nagme-maintain ng depository accounts? Si treasurer. Okay. And yun nga, separate books of account. Next, depository accounts. Local treasurer shall maintain depository accounts in the name of their respective local government units with authorized government depository banks located in or nearest to their respective areas of jurisdiction. Earnings of its depository accounts shall accrue exclusively thereto. Ano ba? May ano, no? uh, interest, income. 
And self-explanatory naman to, no? Next, remittance of government monies to the local treasury. So, kagaya din sa GAM4, national government agencies, yung collections ay nire-remit. And officers of the local government authorized to receive and collect monies arising from taxes, revenue, or receipts of any kind shall remit the full amount received and collected to the treasury of such local government unit, which shall be credited to the particular account or accounts to which the monies in question properly belong. Okay. So dito may makikita kang mga superscript. Ayan o, oh, yung 7 yan. Ayan, ano pa ba? Meron pa ba yun? Yung 6, yung 5. So makikita mo dito sa baba, okay, yung pinanggalingan yan, yung RA7160. Ano ba yan? Yan yung local government code. Okay. Siguro familiar ka na dyan kasi tapos mo na yung business in transfer taxes, di ba? So merong uh, topic doon na local tax. Okay, local taxes. So naaral mo na kahit pa paano yung ilang part nito RA7160. So yung mga real property tax, yung mga uh, isa sedula. Okay. Yun yun yan, no? Sources of income of LGUs. So the main sources of revenue of LGUs are as follows. Kababanggit lang natin, tax revenue. So, papakita dito yun, uh, iba't ibang types ng taxes. No? Pero hindi naman tayo magpo-focus dyan. Kasi inaral mo na ito. No? Sana naalala mo pa yung rates. Yung mga assessment level, yung mga properties na yan. Yung land, yung machinery, etc. Ayan. So, ito nga, tax revenue, service and business income, transfers, assistance and subsidy, shares, grants and donations, gains, and miscellaneous income. So, sa tax revenues, pwede tax on individual and corporation. Nandiyan si professional tax and community tax. Ayan. Next, property taxes. Ito na yun, no? yung real property tax. O yung basic real property tax. Ito yung 1% or 2% no? of the assessed value ng uh, property. Okay. So yung assessed value, makukumpit mo siya uh, gamit yung assessment level. no Depende sa type ng no property. Okay. Kaya lang, hindi ko na rin siya kabisado. Kayo, uh, need nyo kabisaduhin kasi nga magbo-boards kayo, di ba? Ayan. Yeah. So sana meron kang notes niyan para at least hindi ka na magbubuklat ng libro ulit. Nag-notes ka ba nung tax mo? Kung nag-notes ka, very good. Okay? Ako kasi dati, nag-notes ako. Kaya lang, hindi ko rin maintindihan yung notes ko. Kaya nangihiram pa rin ako ng notes ng iba. At least nag-notes ako, di ba? Ayan. Pero yun, magandang practice yun na mag-notes ka. <coughs> Para madali kang magbabalik tanaw. Okay. Ayan. Next, special education tax. Ito yung 1% no, na additional adito sa real property tax. So mamaya pupunta natin to yung special education tax. Yan yun no? yung dito sa special education fund. Next, special levy on idle lands. So ito, naaral mo rin no? kapag hindi ginagamit yung lupa, may additional uh, tax na babayaran dyan. Then, special levy on lands benefited by public works projects and real property transfer tax. Next, taxes on goods and services. Yan, si business tax. Tax on sand, gravel, and other quarry products. Tax on delivery trucks and vans. Amusement tax, franchise tax, printing and publication tax. Ang dami mong minemorize, no? O minemorize ba talaga yan? Kailangan yan. Kabisaduhin, no? Magbo-boards ka kasi. Next, other taxes, fines and penalties, share from national taxes. So ito, share from internal revenue collections, share from expanded VAT, share from national wealth, share from tobacco excise tax, and share from economic zones. 
Ayan ang revenue accounts na galing sa buwis. Next natin, service and business revenue accounts. Ayan, so makikita mo na naman dito yung service income and business income. Ayan yung mga examples na nakapaloob sa mga yan. So, service income, nandyan si permit fees, registration fees, registration plates, tags and stickers fees, clearance and certification fees, supervision and regulation enforcement fees, inspection fees, verification and authentication fees, processing fees, occupation fees, fishery rentals, fees and charges, fees for seeding and licensing of weights and measures, fines and penalties, service income, and other service income. Sa business income naman, ayan, nandiyan si school fees, affiliation fees, seminar and training fees, rent income, communication network fees, transportation system fees, road network fees, waterworks system fees, power supply system fees, seaport system fees, parking fees, at all receipts from operation of hostels and dormitories and other like facilities. <coughs> Excuse me. Receipts from market operations, receipts from slaughterhouse operations, receipts from cemetery operations, receipts from printing and publication, sales revenue, garbage fees, hospital fees, dividend income, interest income, again, ha, business income, yan. service concession revenue, other service concession revenue, lease revenue, share in the profit of a joint venture, fines and penalties, business income, and other business income. So check nga natin kung yung mga types of income na yan ay makikita mo dun sa chart of accounts. Pili tayo dito, no? Ito, fees for ceiling and licensing of weights. Try natin ako makikita natin siya dito sa volume 3. Nung gang for LGU. Ayan, no? Fees for ceiling and licensing of weights and measures. This account is used to record the fees imposed for ceiling and licensing of weights and measures in accordance with Section 148 of Republic Act 716. So makikita mo yung bawat isa dyan dito sa Volume 3 o sa Chart of Accounts. And kung paano siya gagamitin, nakalagay naman. Yan, kagaya nito, other service income, this account is used to record the fees collected from service income not falling under any of the specific service income accounts. Ito, gawin mo na lang on your own, no? Kasi gagabihin tayo kapag inisa-isa natin yan. Next, transfers and subsidy accounts. The following shall comprise the transfers and subsidy accounts applicable to LGUs. Ano bang pinagkaiba ng transfer and subsidies na yan? So ito, transfers refer to funds given to the fund or local government unit from other funds or agencies for specific purpose. So pag transfer, may specific purpose. Examples niya, transfers from general funds as LGU counterpart or project equity share. Transfers from general fund of unspent DRRMF o yung Disaster Risk Reduction Management Fund. Transfers from national government agencies and transfers from other local government units. Again, pag transfer, may specific purpose. Subsidies naman, ayan, refer to transfers of funds to the fund or local government unit from other funds or government agencies without specific purpose. Do you know the difference ng dalawa? Examples ng subsidies, yan, from national government, from local government units, from government-owned and controlled corporations or GOCCs, subsidy from other funds, subsidy from general fund uh, proper or other special accounts, and subsidy from local economic enterprise or public utility or LEE, and P. Uh, hi. Next natin, section 39, shares, grants, and donations. The following shall comprise uh, shares, shares, grants, and donations accounts applicable to LGUs. Ito, share from PAGCOR and share from PCSO. Sige nga, try natin to tingnan. Share from PAGCOR. 
na bakit isa lang. Ayan, ito. Share from Philippine Amusement and Gaming Corporation or PAGCOR. This account is used to record the share of the local government unit from PAGCOR. Okay, diba? In-explain pa niya, no? Pero yun din yung explanation. Yung mismo ako title. Then yung isa pa na uh, shares ay uh, share from Philippine Charity Sweepstakes Office or PCSO. O yung loto, no? This account is used to record the share of the local government unit from PCSO. Ito, grants and donations in kind, grants and donations in cash, grants from concessionary loans. Again, pwede mong isa-isa yun yan dito sa volume 3, sa chart of accounts. Section 40, gains naman. The following shall comprise, uh, comprise the gains accounts applicable to LGUs. So, yung kita mo dyan, yung mga gain from change in fair value of financial instrument. Gain on forex. Gain on sale of investments. Gain on sale of investment property. Gain on sale of PPE. Gain on initial recognition of bioassets. So, itong mga to, naaral natin. No? Ito... Ayan. Pero yung bioassets, hindi natin siya binalikan dito sa GAM for National Government Agencies. No? Pero inaral mo naman yan sa intermediate accounting. Ayan. So gain from change in fair value less cost of sale of bioassets due to physical change. Sana naalala mo pa yan. No? And due to price change. Gain from initial recognition of agricultural produce. Gain on sale of intangible assets, reversal of impairment losses, and other gains. So, ayan yung income collections and deposits. Method of accounting for revenues, accrual method. Yan. Shall be used to record all revenues and receipts accruing to the LGU. The LGU shall recognize the revenue and the asset in respect of taxes when the taxable event occurs and the asset recognition criteria are met. And yet, for business and service revenues and other receipts, the asset and the revenue shall be recognized when the services are rendered and it is probable that economic benefits or service potential associated with the transaction, the flow to the entity, and the amount can be measured reliably. Yet, pa ulit ulit na tayo dyan, no? Interest income shall take into account the effective yield on the asset. Ito, basis of recording real property tax. Yung mga items na yan, in yung mga susunod, no? Ito, for your reading na lang. Okay. Self-explanatory din naman yan. Again, yung entries, hindi na tayo masyado mag-focus dyan, no? Para matapos na natin itong LG. Pero basahin mo pa rin on your own. Baka sakaling uh, may lumabas sa assignment mo or sa quiz, at least masasagutan mo siya. Then ito, alam mo na rin yan. Dividend income, interest income, service concession revenue. Naral na natin yan before. Okay. Accounting for list revenue. Ito, shares, grants and donations. Shares represent LGU share from the income from operations of PAGCOR and PCSO. This are recognized as income upon receipt of the funds. Grants and donations refer to aids from the private sector or international institutions without specific purpose. The aid or donation may be in cash and in kind. Donations in cash shall be recognized in Philippine currency. Receipts in foreign currency shall be converted into Philippine currency at the date of receipt. Aids or donations in kind shall be recognized at fair value of the, kind, uh, of the in kind donation. Upon the transfer of the legal title. 
Grants from concessionary loans is the non-exchange revenue recognized when the LGU secure borrowings at below market terms. Yan, inaral na natin yan, no? concessionary loans. This is the difference between the loan proceeds and the fair value of the loan on initial recognition. This grant is a paper income, thus not considered for budget purposes. Yan. So, iba dyan, basahin mo na lang, self-explanatory naman yan. Okay. Refund of cash advances. Yan, ito. Reporting of collections and deposits. Collectors or tellers shall issue a receipt to acknowledge the collections made. The receipts may be in the form of pre-numbered ORs or cash tickets and the like. At the close of each business day, these collectors or tellers shall accomplish the report of collections and deposits in four copies. The original and two copies, together with the duplicates of the official receipts <coughs> issued, shall be submitted to the treasurer or cashier to whom the cash collected shall be turned over. The fourth copy of the RCD shall be retained by the collector or teller concerned. Barangay treasurers deputized to collect taxes imposed by provinces, cities, and municipalities shall follow the same procedures in turning over their collections to the treasurer or cashier concerned. The RCD of the local treasurer shall include the validated deposit slips. In the case of collectors assigned to the field, including deputized barangay collectors for collections made for the city or municipality, where travel time from their places of assignment to the treasurer's office is more than one day, Turnover of collections shall be made at least once a week or as soon as the collections reach 5,000. Self-explanatory naman, no? Yeah, kahit basahin na lang natin. Then to, verification of collections in accountable forms. And ito, basahin mo na lang din. Then, pati ito. Designation of liquidating officers. Deposit of collections. The treasurer or cashier shall deposit intact all his collections as well as uh, all collections turned over to him by the collectors or tellers with the authorized depository bank daily or not later than the next banking day. Okay, he shall record all deposits made in the cash book and prepare the RCD. Yeah. Deposit of field collections, collections by field collectors, shall be remitted to the cashier or designated liquidating officer of the field office of the LGU. When travel distance of the field office to the local treasury may expose government funds to the risk of loss while in transit, the cashier or designated liquidating officer upon authorization by the treasurer may deposit the collections in the authorized depository bank near the field of the uh, office of the LGU. The procedures in reporting collections and deposits prescribed in this chapter shall be observed. Then ito, accounting for collections and deposits. The accountant shall determine the account classification of collections covered by the RCD and the supporting papers submitted by the treasurer or cashier and shall accomplish the journal voucher. The accountant shall also maintain abstract of real property tax collections to facilitate the distribution and remittance of the shares of the different government units concerned in the real property tax collections. And ito na, yung pro forma accounting entries. So ito, kayang-kaya um, mo itong intindihan no, on your own. Okay. So ito, pakibasa na lang din. Sundan mo yung flow ng transactions and kung hindi mo sure yung mga account titles na ginamit dyan, pwedeng pwede mong tingnan dito sa chart of accounts kagaya ng ginawa natin sa GAM for NGAs. Okay, kaya, uh, yun nga eh. Parang ulitin kasi natin ulit no, kung hindi discuss ko pa to separately. So, yeah. Given naman no, sa manual, pabasahin mo na lang. Okay, so pakibasa rin to ha. Ah. Yan. 
<clears throat> so dito, disbursements. Hindi na kasi siya covered dito sa syllabus natin. So wag na natin siyang tingnan. Huwag natin basahin. Okay. So ang puntahan natin ay yung special education fund and yung trust fund. Okay. Yeah, special education fund. <clears throat> so, ano ba yan? SEF or special education fund consists of the proceeds of the 1% tax on the assessed value of real property in addition to the basic real property tax, which a province, a city, or a municipality may levy and collect. Kaya binabanggit natin kanina yung tax 2 mo, no? yung business and transfer taxes na subject mo. Kasi doon mo inaral yung real property tax. And possibly, na-encounter mo na si special education fund noon. Baka hindi mo lang siya naaalala. Okay. Pero yan. SEF consists of the proceeds of the 1% tax on the assessed value of real property in addition to the basic real property tax. The proceeds of the additional 1% uh, accruing to special education fund shall automatically be transferred to the SEF depository account and recognized in the SEF books of accounts. So, lagi naman, no? Yung kagaya dun sa fund clusters dun sa national government agencies. Separate ang uh, books ng bawat fund cluster. No? Then, nagpe-prepare pa nga siya ng separate na financial statements about this. Okay. So, dito ang gawin din. Allocation of proceeds of the SEF divided equally between the provincial and municipal school boards in the case of provinces. Pag city naman, proceeds shall be solely for the city school board. Application of proceeds. Said proceeds uh, shall be applied as determined and approved by the local school boards concerned only for the following purposes. Number one, operation and maintenance of public schools. Pangalawa, construction and repair of school buildings, facilities, and equipment. Pangatlo, educational research. Pangapat, purchase of books and periodicals. And panglima, sports development. Okay. So ito, Special Education Fund Budget. The local school board shall determine in accordance with the criteria set by DepEd the annual supplementary budgetary needs for the operation and maintenance of public schools within the province, city, or municipality as the case may be. So yung budget, no, in-identify. And syempre yung supplementary local cost of meeting such needs, which shall be reflected in the form of an annual school board budget corresponding to its share from the proceeds of the special levy on real property and such other sources of revenue. Okay, so ano pa yung mga pwedeng panggalingan ng pondo? Okay, na magpupuno dun sa budget na na-identify. Okay, the division superintendent, city superintendent, or district supervisor, as the case may be, shall prepare the budget of the school board concerned and such budget shall be supported by programs, projects, and activities. Or gaya lang din ng sa national government agencies. And yun nga, ay yung priority, ay yung apat. School buildings, research, ayan, extension classes, and sports activities. O yung mga paliga. And recording of special education tax receivable. Ito, for your reading na lang din. Pero yan, tax receivable shall be established at the beginning of the year based on the real property tax account register index card. Collection procedures for the special education tax. The 1% shall be collected simultaneously with the basic real property tax. Okay. So the procedures for the turnover of collections, frequency of deposit of collection, with the bank 
preparation of report of collections, verification of collections in accountable forms, preparation of report of accountability for accountable forms, as well as consolidation of reports of accountable forms, shall be the same as that prescribed for collections in the general fund. And yun nga, meron pa rin separate cash books and separate registries para dito sa special education fund. Pati yung trial balances and financial reports. Okay. Yan. Pro forma, journal entries ulit no? para dito sa special education fund. Yan. Again, basahin mo na lang to and sundan yung transactions. Kapag hindi familiar sa'yo yung account title, tingnan mo dito sa chart of accounts. Okay. Next natin, trust fund. Ito, definition. Inulit na lang ulit to, no? Trust fund shall consist of private and public monies which have officially come into the possession of the local government or of a local government official as trustee, agent, or administrator, or which have been received as a guarantee for the fulfillment of some obligation. A trust fund shall only be used for the specific purpose for which it was created or for which it came into the possession of the local government unit. Okay. Yeah. Separate books again. No? And uh, separate cash book for trust funds. Fund utilization requests and status. Utilization of trust receipts for implementation of projects shall be covered and monitored using a fund utilization request status. It shall be prepared by the requisitioning office administering the trust receipts and the local accountant shall certify as the availability of funds per accounting records. The first shall be posted in the registry of special trust fund. A registry of special trust fund shall be maintained for each trust receipt for a specific purpose. All receipts to the specific trust shall be recorded in the RSTF. And all the charges to the specific trust receipts as supported by first shall be recognized in the RSTF. Ay, yeah. So ito, receipts accruing to the trust fund. Basahin mo na lang for your reading. Yeah, Self-explanatory din naman. Ito, trial balance and financial reports. The procedures for the preparation and submission of accountant uh, by the accountant of the trial balance and financial reports shall be the same as those of the general fund, except that no statement of comparison of budget and actual amount shall be prepared in view of the absence of the budget in the trust fund. Then ito yung pro forma accounting entries. Okay. So, yan ang para sa trust funds. Pakibasa na lang din to no? yung pro forma journal entries. Special accounts, ito hindi na natin dadaanan. No? Since wala rin naman siya dyan sa syllabus mo. So, punta tayo sa financial statements of an LG. Anexes na pala ito. Ito parang towa lang. No? Naaral mo na ito before. So, pwede, basahin mo rin. Pero, yun nga, inaral mo na ito kasi dati. At least, magkakaroon ka ng review yan. Financial reporting. Highlight natin. Highlight. Is the process of producing statements that disclose an, an organization's financial status to management 
investors, and the government. Financial reporting establishes the boundary around the transactions, other events, and activities that may be reported in general purpose financial statements. The scope of the financial reporting is determined by the information needs of the primary users of the general purpose financial statements and the objectives of financial reporting. So ito, objectives of financial reporting. Alam mo na yan, no? basahin mo na lang ulit. Financial statements, yeah. Purpose of financial statements, alam mo na rin yan. Ayan. Ito, responsibility for the FS. And the reliability of financial statements rests with the management of the reporting entity, particularly the head of the finance or accounting office and the head of the entity or his authorized representative. The statement of management responsibility for financial statements discloses the entity's responsibility for the preparation and presentation of FS. Qualitative characteristics of financial reporting. Yeah, for your reading na lang din, no? Para ma-refresh ka. Ulit. Timeliness, reliability, faithful representation, substance over form. Neutrality, prudence, completeness, and comparability. Ito, fair presentation and compliance with IPSAS. Ayan, pakibasa na lang din to, no? Going concern. When financial statements are not prepared on a going concern basis, that fact shall be disclosed, together with the basis on which the financial statements are prepared and the reason why the entity is not regarded as a going concern. And consistency of presentation, basahin mo na lang ito, no? Teriality and aggregation, offsetting, comparative information. Ito, identification of the financial statements. Reporting period, financial statements shall be presented at least annually. When an entity's reporting date changes and the annual financial statements are presented for a longer period or shorter period, Entity shall disclose uh, the period covered by the financial statements and the reason for using a longer or shorter period and the fact that comparative amounts of certain statements are not entirely comparable. Alam mo na yung mga yan, no? Towa. Adjusting events. Sige, punta na lang natin yung mga components ng FS. Ayan, components of the general purpose financial statements. So, ito yung anim. No? Statement of financial position, financial performance, cash flows, changes in net assets or equity, Ito yung unique, no? Statement of comparison of budget and actual amounts and notes to financial statements. Okay. Hmm. Yan ito, basahin mo na lang, no? The presentation of statement of cash flows. The cash flow statement shall report cash flows during the period classified by operating, investing, and financing activities. Direct method of presenting cash flows from operating activities shall be followed. Uh, and ito yung items. So the following items shall be considered under each activity. Cash inflows from operating activities include, among others, receipt of IRA. Ito, kahit ano na. Uh, familiarize mo na lang. Huwag mo na i-memorize. Cash receipts from collections of revenues and receipts. And yung mga yan. Ito yung outflows naman from operating activities. Next, investing activities. Yan, enumerated din dito. Financing activities. Okay. Ayan, ano pa ba? Ayun, dito na, annexes naman. So kung gusto mo makita yung mga 
uh, ibang ano dito, no? Forms. Ayan. So, naka-present naman sa annexes yung mga forms dito sa GAM for LGUs. Pero, yun, no? Ang goal lang naman natin is yung mga nakalisted dito sa syllabus mo. Okay. Wala naman tayong namiss, no? Ayan. So, ayun. Hanggang dito lang muna tayo. May question ka ba? Unmute ka lang. Ayan pala guys, no? supposedly, ano dapat to eh? Uh, tawag dito, asynchronous yung lecture natin for part 2, no? Kaya lang, suspended pala yung class ng Friday. Okay. Kaya, kung itinuloy natin yun, mauuna kayo doon sa Friday class. So, para sabay-sabay na, hindi na natin uh, ginawang asynchronous yung part 2. Okay, nan po for me. Yung iba guys, unmute lang no, kung may question. Pero stop natin yung recording muna.